Hi friends, uh, warm welcome again to my YouTube channel in my online lectures. Today we are going to start the uh, for BSc third year zoology. Uh, as per uh, Swami Ramanathiri Maharaj University Nanded uh, in zoology uh, for the BSc third year uh, for the uh, sixth semester we have uh, the specialization paper that is uh, the aquaculture and this paper number is uh, paper number 15A. Uh, friends, uh, we are starting this uh, lecture by uh, introduction to the syllabus of this paper. Means, uh, what is the syllabus or what type of units we have to discuss uh, in this uh, particular paper is discussed today. Okay. <clears throat> now, before we discuss the syllabus, uh, we will know or we should know the objectives of this paper means what are the objectives why this paper why this paper they are included in the third year BSc zoology and how it important to the students okay so uh, see the objectives uh, the, the main objective of this paper is to, to introduce the students to various types of aquaculture methods. What are the major methods there of aquaculture? So all these methods should introduce in front of the students. It is the main objective of this paper. Okay, and to impart the knowledge of fishery science again along with the uh, fishery science, then the mariculture and fish processing. Number of fish processing industry we have in our India. So by acquiring these knowledge by acquiring this paper by uh, learning this paper students should uh, tell or students should uh, learn this activity uh, as far as the mariculture is concerned or the inland fishery is there or uh, fish processing industry is there okay now uh, to create the awareness about man-made hazardous to aquaculture no doubt we are the main uh, hazardous to the nature uh, as well as the aquaculture also okay so to overcome this problem if we are uh, giving some uh, problem to the nature then it is our duty to return some good things to environment also so in this uh, segment the objective is the uh, to create awareness about man-made hazardous to aquaculture means uh, many type of hazardous uh, <coughs> effluent we have uh, released into the water body and this water body is uh, dangerous for the uh, aquaculture or the aquatic habitat or the uh, what we can say the uh, e aquatic ecosystem okay now the next is the to appreciate the role of larvivorous fishes in public health so this is very important aspect uh, the larvivorous fishes means though fishes they are uh, feeds on the larvae of the particular mosquitoes or the other carinous larvae okay etc so by uh, feed them by feeding them they clear the uh, larvae of the mosquito and it uh, uh, stop the uh, number of diseases they are spreading by uh, by the mosquitoes okay so uh, this is also an important aspect to study the number of virus fishes and their concern to the public health now the last is to understand and appreciate the role of government in aquaculture development Okay, in our uh, nations, how the government uh, take a part in uh, development of aquaculture, they are also uh, discussed in this paper. Okay, this is the five objectives of this paper. Now, we are moving to the uh, syllabus of this paper. Friends, this paper contains four different units, four different units, and uh, in that particular four units, there are a number of a segment, a sub, a sub segment is there. So, uh, unit first of this paper is uh, it started with the introduction to aquaculture. What is in, what is in by aquaculture? The definition of the aquaculture. Okay, and the uh, after definition, we have to study the scope and uh, the importance of aquaculture. How the aquaculture is important to us. Okay, so we have to discuss in the particular introduction, scope and importance of aquaculture segment. Now later on, uh, the number of concepts in aquaculture. Uh, uh, including the extensive aquaculture and the intensive aquaculture. These are the again uh, they are the concepts and we have to study these 
two concepts that is uh, extensive and intensive aquaculture and the number two point in this unit is the types of aquaculture in and uh, number of type is there and uh, along with fishery along with the uh, fish culture a number of uh, animals or number of other uh, things are also interlinked okay so in this segment we have to discuss these points that is the types of aquaculture in in that type of aquaculture we are discussing uh, monosex culture or monoculture and the polyculture monoculture means a single fish species will be uh, used for the culture of fishes a species or mixed culture we can say that mixed culture means uh, IMC that is Indian Measure Cups along with the IMC we have also uh, <coughs> used this uh, exotic carp also the silver carp, glass carp and the common carp also so this is the uh, polyculture okay one or oh, sorry two or more fishes they are cultured together they are called polyculture so these two uh, segments are also uh, we are also uh, discussed in the uh, segment okay now the next part of the first unit or the last part of this uh, of this unit is the uh, integrated fish farming so it is very important part in this paper integrated fish farming along with the fish culture number of animals that are also reared and this is a very important okay so here number one is the integrated fish farming is the uh, paddy come fish culture means along with the paddy we can culture fishes also okay we can culture fishes also then Number two is fish come pig farming. Number of European countries, number of other countries, they rear this pig along with the fish also. Okay, so uh, they have the mutual benefit. Uh, means uh, the fishes they also get the whatever the excreta excreted by the animals they are uh, used for the manuring purpose. Okay, and used by the pigs. Okay, so fish come pig farming. Then C is the uh, cattle come. Fish farming. It's also a very old uh, aspect, but uh, nowadays these uh, fish farmers or the other farmers are also uh, use this uh, fish uh, cattle come fish farming. Then the last part of this unit is the fish come duck farming. Okay. Also, uh, duck farming is also uh, famous uh, in our uh, India. Now, this is the first unit. The second unit of this paper is the uh, we have to discuss the uh, culture methods. In that, uh, we are going to discuss the uh, paint culture and the uh, cage culture. These are the two important aspects we have to discuss in very uh, brief. Okay, now the next part uh, in this paper is the sewage fed fish culture. Means composition of sewage, then the sewage is used for the fish culture. No doubt we are uh, we know just used part okay used effluent from the uh, we can say the domestic sewage or other uh, sewage is there okay so that should be uh, we will be drained from the, our houses but by using this particular sewage water we can also done the fisheries okay or we can also done the fish culture that that should be that part is discussing the uh, sewage uh, fed fish culture in that composition of sewage we have to discuss the composition of sewage then a uh, use of a uh, sewage for fish culture how we can use it and the fish species suitable for sewage fed fish culture what type of uh, fishes we can use uh, in the uh, sewage fed fish culture also that point also we are to we are going to uh, discuss okay in this particular sewage fed fish culture segment and the last part in the second unit is the man-made hazardous and aquaculture. Just I have uh, discussed that uh, how we uh, disturbing the environment, how we dis disturbing the uh, uh, aquatic environment. Okay, by introducing number of uh, uh, number of pollutants inside the water body. So uh, we have to discuss the domestic waste, uh, sorry, domestic sewage, then agricultural sewage as well as the industrial effluent. Okay, they are also discussing the unit number two so this is the unit number first and two now this next unit is uh, the third unit and it starts with the uh, the characteristics of water okay so you know, we, uh, we know uh, the uh, physical chemical and biological parameters or the physical chemical and biological properties of water is very important as far as the fish culture is concerned 
okay when we uh, plan to fish culture so before that we have to uh, check all the water water quality parameters so very important aspect again in the aquaculture is the uh, uh, characteristics of water we have to uh, analyze we have to estimate the uh, the what water quality before the fish culture in that we have to discuss the physical parameters the chemical and the uh, biological parameters okay now the second part okay, again it is very important part the larvivorous species in that we have to discuss the characteristics of larvicidal fishes okay what is, what are their characteristic characters and the uh, number of uh, larvivorous fishes found in india including uh, the indigenous species or the exotic fishes found in india it is also discussed in the uh, unit number uh, third in second point now the third point in this larvivorous fishes is the role of larvivorous fishes in relation to public health how it important to us why this larvicidal or larvivorous fishes we have to culture why the need okay so in this segment we are discussing the uh, actual role of this larvicidal fishes in the public health is concerned okay now uh, this is the second part in the unit number 3 then third part of this unit is the uh, aquatic weights and their control again uh this uh, again uh, it is a very uh, important because it arises number of problems by this aquatic by the presence of this aquatic weeds so uh, in this segment we are also discussing the uh, aquatic weeds number of aquatic weeds uh, type of weed is there then the advantages and disadvantages of weeds number of fishes they are using this weeds for the nesting purpose for their nesting purpose but number of fishes they are obstacle or number of uh, the number of fishes they are obstacle or their gills they are uh, what you can say the they are uh, facing the problems of uh, swimming because of this uh, heavy uh, weeds present in the aquatic media okay aquatic or any aquatic body okay then the third one is the Uh, control of these aquatic weeds. How it controlled? In what way? Or in a number of methods they are present for the controlling these aquatic weeds. So that part we have we are discussed or we are going to discuss. Okay, in the unit number third last part, there is the control of weeds. In that uh, we can control this weed by manually, chemically, or mechanically, or the biological way. Okay, now this is the third unit of this paper. <clears throat> the last unit of this paper is a culture of non fish organisms friends this is very uh, new part in our area uh, number of uh, fishermen uh, they are doing their pearl culture in our area but uh, uh, by introducing this part in this paper uh, the authority or the uc or the concern uh, authority also in our university Uh, think that a number of students they can uh, start their own business by doing this pearl culture or the oyster uh, or the prawn culture also okay so in this unit we have we are we are going to discuss the uh, fresh water prawn culture no doubt the fresh water prawn is the macrobacterium rosenberg and micro uh, it is very important species in our area in fresh water media so this culture of prawn is also important and uh the enough ex, uh, enough money is getting by the fisherman by selling this fish prawn fresh water prawn so uh fresh water prawn culture how we can uh, start how we can culture the prawns in a, a water body so that we, that will be discussed in the uh, fresh water prawn culture okay now the next uh aspect in this unit is to be very important as far as the Uh, research is concerned as far as the employment is concerned because the next part is the pearl oyster culture and edible oyster culture means this year the oyster they are culture for both way for means employment generation for pearl making and the edible for eating purpose also so uh, for the pearl formation or the pearl oyster culture and the uh, edible oyster culture okay now and the third one is the mussel culture Uh, this is the first part of the unit four. Now, the second part in this unit is the mariculture. In that mariculture, 
we are going to discuss their introduction then types of mariculture and the fish species for the mariculture these are the second part this is the second part of the unit 4 and the last part of the syllabus of, of this paper is the government participation aquaculture in what industry which industries uh, these uh, fisheries or the aquaculture uh, play a crucial role so in that particular way we will discuss the ICAR that is the Indian uh, Agri uh, Council of Agriculture Research okay then the Ministry of Agriculture then Ministry of Commerce the Ministry of Food Processing Industries okay these, these industries they are related with the aquaculture okay so these all uh, government participation in aquaculture we are going to discuss in the last part of this paper okay so this is your four unit of this paper and we are going to start one by one uh, we'll discuss the uh, uh, we'll discuss the one by one the syllabus of this paper okay now as you can uh, just we have discussed the uh, syllabus of this paper but some outcome is there or some outcome of this paper is also uh, we have to uh, remember okay so number one is the, the knowledge and understanding of aquaculture methods mariculture and pre processing by the students after the completion of this course means they can they should or they uh, they will tell yes this is the aquaculture this is the type of uh, aquaculture or the mariculture okay then an understanding of the different man-made hazardous to aquaculture by studying the uh, different type of man-made hazardous the uh, students are also able to tell that 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 this type of or this will uh, this will harm harmful to the uh, any water body okay so this student will tell student will uh, tell to the society or tell to the fish farmers that it is not a good uh, activity to introduce the <coughs> hazardous uh, or the any pollutant introduced into the water body or they should able after the completion of this paper now they can uh, acquire the number of uh, different uh, skill to use uh, species of locally available larivarous fishes in vector control they have enough knowledge they get enough knowledge for or uh, number of nodes they are controlled by the larivarous species for example the uh, guppy okay guppy poes uh, reticulata one of the important species of larivarous okay so this type of fishes uh, they can easily uh, studied and they can inter easily understand they can easily uh, spread this uh, information towards the uh, society by uh, studying this pa uh, paper okay and the last the again knowledge and understanding the role of government agencies in development of aquaculture only aquaculture is not a, a single industries that just uh, release the seed and uh, get the fishes from the water body and just sell no it is not like that okay so by into by uh, by uh, understanding the role of the uh, government sector also number of industries that are interlinked with each of it with the aquaculture industry and they are uh, they are again uh, giving the employment as well as the uh, number of students that can also uh, <clears throat> apply for the uh, number of posts present in the uh, such type of industries also okay so uh, with this uh, I stop here this is your paper number uh, 15a okay for bsc third year uh, we will meet in our first lecture uh, in introduction to aquaculture and the integrated fish farming okay till then goodbye thank you